Hi guys, Sam from Cuff and Camps here. Welcome back to the final installment of our Lash series. We're going to discuss solid versus hydraulic lifters and the advantages and disadvantages of both and why you can't use a solid lifter profile in a hydraulic lifter engine. So hydraulic lifters offer a good amount of flexibility for OEM manufacturers in terms of the variation in base circles and valve tip heights. They also offer easier installation of aftermarket camshafts as there is no lash to be set. Hydraulic lifters rely on oil pressure to maintain contact between the cam lobe and the cam follower throughout the entire operating window. However, they are heavier and in certain high RPM or really aggressive applications where oil and spring control are pushed to their limits, sometimes the lifter can pump up which holds the valve open or it can bleed down which results in excessive lash. In these scenarios, conversions to solid lifter cam profiles and solid lifters may be superior. Solid lifter cams have the benefit of being less complicated with a typically lighter weight, lending themselves well to aggressive high RPM applications. However, they can be more labour intensive to set up and can require more maintenance. Because solid lifter profiles have lash ramps as previously discussed, if a solid lifter profile is used in a hydraulic lifter valve train, the lash ramps create extra seat duration, opening the valve earlier and holding it open later. As the ramps are not optimised for performance so much as they are for safety, this extra duration is undesirable and it results in dynamic compression loss and unnecessary valve overlap. In the opposing case, a hydraulic lifter profile used in a mechanical setup, hydraulic lifter profiles have very little or no lash ramp at all. If lash was set at any number in this case, simulations have told us that valve take up velocity can get up to 165% higher than our safe margins, likely resulting in valve train failure. Well, that concludes our series on Lash. Let us know in the comments or on Facebook if you feel there are any questions left unanswered or if this helped your setup in any way. As always, like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.